Hey there, everybody. Camden, Dempsey, the governor. Yeah. Just taking questions. Yeah. Any questions you guys have? How's the long snapping competition going? It's going great. I'm super excited. We've got three great guys, myself included. Um, but I think that having competition in that position, um, we had a guy leave last year, but I think we're going to have some really good, over the next 30 days, some really good competition when it comes down to you know, blocking, snapping, stuff like that. Um, I'm excited to see where that goes. How does your new role of the governor kind of change your day to day? Yeah, no, for me, it honestly hasn't changed much. If anything, it just means that I'm trying to keep an eye on our guys a little closer, um, take the stories that I see at practice. I really want to highlight our guys, um, the stuff that they're doing on and off the field. So I'm trying to keep, uh, you know, what guys are doing, you know, whether it comes to NIL, whether it comes to, you know, the stuff that they're doing in the community. I want to be able to highlight that. So at least in terms of my role, you know, nothing's changed on the field, but when it comes down to, you know, in the locker room, I'm chatting with guys more, trying to bring the two sides of the locker room closer together. Uh, and I think that that's something that I'm really excited for, the role in terms of being able to just build a bridge between, you know, two sides of the locker room. So. Have you seen that kind of pay dividends already? Absolutely, yeah. I think um, guys are feeling a lot more empowered to share what they're doing. They, they want to go do stuff now in the community, which I think is really cool. Um, and they feel like they've got a way to actually have a voice. Um, so it's something that I'm really excited to be able to re represent the guys that, you know, I mean, they do so much work out on the field. Um, and, you know, I'm, I'm special teams, but I've got a really close connection with everyone on offense and defense. And it's really been cool to kind of be able to un unite the two rooms and also unite the two generations of buffs that we've got. I mean, we've got old guys like myself included, who's no B, uh, but we also got, you know, new guys and even newer guys who are coming in. So that's been the best part. It seems like you and Coach Prime got along pretty early last season. I know he gave you the nickname, the governor, pretty early. Yeah. I mean, I know you guys, the special teams, have some downtime during practice. What was that like last year early on, just kind of talking to him throughout practice and maybe off the field as well? Yeah, no, it was building a relationship, I think, was the biggest thing because, you know, being from the older team, like, I had to be able to establish myself who I was um, because, you know, I wasn't recruited by him. I had to be, you know, picked to be left over on the team. Um, but I think for that, the biggest thing was just getting to know him, who he is, his brand. I mean, he's such a family man, and it's been great to be able to work with him and get to see how much he cares about not only like the player side, but also developing us as young men. Um, and so, whether it comes down to you know our business stuff, NIL, anything, uh, it's been really cool to develop that relationship, and it's something that I'm hoping to take with me later on in life. What was your reaction when you first heard him give you that nickname? I was kind of like, wow, that's a big nickname to have. <laughs> um, I think that, you know, there's no role like it in college football, right, which is something that's really unique. That's the thing I love. I mean, we've got our dogs, we've got our leaders. Like, you don't hear a lot about that. You typically just hear about, you know, captains, and that's about it. So I thought it was super innovative, and to be able to, you know, come out and talk with y'all and be able to represent our guys, I mean, that's, again, something that typically we don't have players doing. So um, it's it's unique, and it's, it's very much him. I love it. How would you compare the, the energy, you know, two days into fall camp this year versus where you guys were last year? I was waiting for that question because, like, they better get the sewing machine down in the locker room ready to sew on the L's and D's because, like, the guys out there, people were chomping at the bit. I mean, we're only in spiders today. Like, these aren't even real pads, and it looked like a practice, like, three, four weeks in the season. I mean, guys were going at it. I mean, our new guys, um, like BJ, like, they're really showing off who they are. Uh, but then our older guys, too, are, you know, showing that we've got a really good foundation that we're able to build off of. So uh, that's that's been really fun to watch. And I can't wait to see where it goes. I mean, we still got, what, 30 days left to camp? And uh, it's only going to go up from here. So, Is there a difference in the locker room? Absolutely. I think last year was all about trying to come together and build unity. Um, you had two sides of the locker room that, you know, different coaching mentalities and that was you know it took a while to get into that this year everyone knows that we're there for a purpose I mean we've got 12 games and everyone knows that we need to be laser focused on that big 12 championship and then on the national championship so is that the bar big 12 championship and national championship absolutely I don't think we would set it any lower because I think we've got the guys in the room we've got all the guys in the room that we need to win that and uh, the talents there motivations there drives there um, and I haven't I've been a Buff fan my entire life and I haven't felt anything like this, whether on the sideline or in the locker room my entire time here, so. Is the, the media poll saying whatever about or whatever it was, uh, is that locker room fodder, is that sort of fodder for you guys then? I think, you know, obviously we hear about what's going on outside the locker room. I think for a lot of guys, we've got the confidence to know that I mean, it doesn't really matter what's set outside. We, we know that, you know, we've got 30 days to lock it down, and then we've got NDSU, and that's really all that matters in our mind. So. For you personally, how much has been being kind of the public facing, uh, face of the, the roster, I guess, how has that kind of shaped what you feel like you want to do after football, like what you want to get into, whether it's still being involved in the game or whatever you want to get into? Yeah, no, for me, 
I mean, I've always wanted to go into business. If anything, it's just a chance to be able to represent my teammates and really show off what they're doing. Um, it's pushing me. I mean, I was in Dallas last weekend for the Big 12 SAT conference, which was really cool because, I mean, we're in an awesome new conference now, and we're able to, like, actually help set up groups going forward that will advocate for athletes and help kind of provide guidance to the Big 12, which is a great opportunity for athletes yeah. to get their voices out there. Uh, but for me personally, I'm just hoping to, you know, finish out my next two years strong, represent my teammates, and uh, after that, I don't know, figure it out. But, All right. Thanks, Camden. Thanks, Thank you.